Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, I'm really excited to be doing my second video on this channel and um, today I'm going to be doing a what's in my bag video because I feel like that's a great way for people to learn a little bit more about me um, just to see what I carry around with me I guess gives you a little bit of insight but um, I'm just gonna get started. Here is my bag. It is very big. <laughs> it is a Kate Landry bag. Um, it is kind of like a foresty green color that's kind of hard to tell in this lighting and it has a really awesome like hot pink sort of, well I guess it's more of like a maroony liner and this is something that I absolutely cannot live without in a purse this size. It has a divider in the middle so it's got you know this half here and then the divider and then that half there which is awesome I really love it so the first thing that I'm gonna pull out is my little brown notebook um, I carry this notebook around with me just in case I need to jot anything down the two the two I think biggest things it has in here are my reading list the books that I want to read and uh, little check marks next to the ones that I finished reading and um, my bucket list which includes such things as eating a Waldorf salad at the Waldorf Hotel, and um, what else? Seeing the Northern Lights. And I guess this kind of goes with that. I have my little pencil case. Um, it's got, well, it's got my car insurance in it, number one. <laughs> it also has a selection of pens and my um, little thumb drive. Usually it has a pencil and a highlighter in there, but I don't know where those have gone. Probably it works somewhere. The next thing I have in here is um, my gum. I like carrying it in these little tubs like this. I used to just get like little Orbit packs, but then I actually watched a What's in My Bag with Zoella, and um, she said that she carries these things around because they don't fall out in your purse. Brilliant. I have never had a problem with these, so good job, Zoe. Right. I have an empty DSW gift card, <laughs> and I have my wallet. Um, this is actually also Kate Landry, and it's just a really nice wallet. It snaps open, and then Here's my driver's license, I'm not going to show it to you, but it's here. And then um, I've got like little membership cards in here, like uh, my Ulta card and Victoria's Secret and business cards and things like that are down in there. Um, I also have my driver's license, my monetary cards, my Target card, because I'm at Target all the time. If you're thinking about getting a red card, do it. This is the best thing ever. It's a debit card. I got the debit card one. And it is just the bomb. I also have my school IDs, which I'm not going to show you because they have terrible pictures. Um, health insurance, car insurance, and um, then coins and random things in here, such as the key to my grad school lab, which is in a different country, so completely useless. But I can't, I can't make myself throw it away or anything. <laughs> this is super weird and kind of random. But I have a biface in my purse. I am an archaeologist. That's my day job. And um, one day we had a guy come to our office and just drop off a box of bifaces, pieces of pottery, and things like that. And he was like, I don't need these. Do you want them? And we use them for education because we don't know where they came from. So it's not like they're really that useful to us. Um, but we take them to, you know fairs and I don't know what else to say about it. Educational things we take them. But anyway, so here's a little biface for you. Pretty cool. Native American. Awesome. I guess I'll do the front pocket. In this front pocket I have a really, really tidy case of my oil absorbing sheets, which I mentioned earlier I use all the time. I have this cute little um, pill box that doesn't have anything in it at the moment. It's just this really cute little... Oh, oh, did I break it? Got my car keys and my apartment keys, um, Tic Tac, and the little thing to my pool at my apartment, a broken ring, uh, some Estee Lauder lip gloss that I have had for absolute ages. I think technically I stole this from my sister. Sorry. Um, but I really like this lip gloss. I have... My big set of keys, which contain things like my Kroger Plus card, and keys to my office, and my mailbox, beer opener, and a um, little llama that I got in Peru. I think he's really sweet, but he's super dirty. Um, and I have these two sets of keys separate because 
sometimes I go on runs and I can't I don't really want to carry this whole thing around with me when I run um, and then lastly in this little pocket I have this lotion which is just the best lotion ever it's from Bath and Body Works and it's the twisted peppermint nourishing hand cream and it smells like peppermint buttercream frosting and it is just so thick and oh my god I love it so much and ugh, I'm almost out of it I am like scraping the last little morsels out of this bottle um and they don't have it anymore because it's it's like a holiday thing so but I love this one and next Christmas I'm just gonna freaking stock up in the side pockets I have my sunglasses I got these at Target and it's actually kind of funny because um my sister has this exact same pair and we were not together when we bought them so that just proves that we were actually related and in the other side pocket I have a pair of headphones I listen to audiobooks at work a lot if I'm doing something kind of mindless um and I usually have my phone in the side pocket as well but I have it out right now but anyway right so moving on in the center pocket I have my an extra phone charger just in case I need one and a inexplicable trivia answer sheet with my team name which is it's on the tip of my tongue I haven't played trivia in a really long time though so I should maybe throw this out but anyway so that's in my purse okay so in this next section I'll get to this in a minute but I have why do I still have this these are clues from a recent murder mystery party that I went to I don't know why I still have this this is like two weekends ago but anyway I have these in my purse I'm gonna throw these away okay this is my little makeup kind of baggy clutch thing that I keep in my purse to kind of separate my purse from my makeup um, the contents of this bag vary sometimes it's very full and sometimes it's not um, it's the Betsyville bag from Betsy Johnson I've got my old eyeglasses in here which I never ever ever wear um, so I'm gonna take these out let's see I have a really old Avon lip gloss <laughs> that smells like a crayon yeah it smells straight up like a crayon but um, it's a really nice kind of pink glossy color so that's good I also have another Avon um, well this is Marc Juice Gems lip gloss and um, it's really nice it's like sparkly and it doesn't smell like a crayon it smells like I think it's supposed to smell like grapefruit maybe I don't know what it's supposed to smell like, but it smells nice and fruity. I like this one. Um, my grandmother was an Avon lady, so I have a lot of Avon things. Like this mirror. This is a little Avon compact mirror. Just two mirrors. One is a little bit more magnifying than the other, but that's handy. Um, I have this Revlon Photo Ready pressed powder, um, which isn't my favorite, but um, I still have some left, so I keep this one in my purse just in case I need it. Once I finish this one, I probably won't run back out and get this one. I have a little body spray from um, Bath & Body Works and Cucumber Melon. This is a really good thing to kind of spritz, you know, if I've been working really hard, like physically, um, which sometimes happens in my job, or, you know, if you're just like out somewhere and you're just like, ugh, you know what, I just don't feel great. Spritz or spritz, much better. I also have a little pack of Kleenex in this little bag. These are great. They're just like a little handy fold up thing of Kleenex in your bag because you never know when you're going to need one. I have this little teeny tiny bag from Clinique that, oh gosh, I can't even remember when I got this. It's been so long. That has a dryer sheet in it for staticky hair. This will save your life if you have super staticky hair in the winter. Dryer sheet fixes the problem. And last in this little tiny bag, I have my staple, Dramamine. I get incredibly motion sick. On like every single form of transportation that exists all of them so I keep your mean with me just in case I need to take some um, it's just a lifesaver I have a nearly empty sweet cinnamon pumpkin uh, hand sanitizer from Bath and Body Works which is my absolute favorite oh my goodness I love this I love this so much uh, I have oh my gosh I have my ELF 
Sugar Scrub Lip Exfoliator, which as you can see, I've used a ton of. This is a lifesaver. I love this thing. It was $1, and it's just a really nice kind of sugar scrub for your lips in lipstick form, and it's got moisturizers in it too. So you just scrub this in when your lips are feeling rough, and oh, it's wonderful. ELF, awesome. Um, I have a little fold-up brush with a mirror in it because, you know, I use that. And then last, I have this Batiste Dry Shampoo. Um, it's in like a little tiny carry-on size, and it's great. This is the uh, the Floral and Fruity Blush scent. And um, this isn't my favorite scent of theirs, but it's not bad, and it's nice. You know, it sprays on your hair, and it's just like a dry shampoo. Um, it does spray on kind of white, though, so that's something that... You just have to keep in mind, just don't spray it in and just leave it. You sometimes have to spray it in, wait for a little while, and then like brush it through. But it's great. I love this. I also often have a book in my bag. Um, I like to keep a book in my bag, you know, just for those situations you find yourself in where you kind of need to pass the time doing something if you're waiting for a friend or sitting at a doctor's office or something. Um, I really love having a, a book with me. At the moment, I'm reading Allegiant, which is the third book of the Divergent series by Veronica Roth. As you can kind of guess, this book would be a little bit cumbersome in a bag, so I haven't been carrying this one around. But sometimes if I'm reading something smaller or lighter, I'll have that with me. So that is it for my What's in My Bag video. Um, I have complained recently that my bag is very heavy, and after sort of taking everything out and looking at everything that's in there, I could probably stand to take a few things out, kind of lighten the load a little bit. Uh, but anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you have any suggestions, write them down in the comment box, and um, I would love to hear from everyone. And I hope to see you guys back soon. Bye. Sometimes I'm just not in the mood and I just want to have a quick salad and sit down and have a drink and binge watch some Netflix. So this salad I think is perfect for that sort of thing.